Elua gogo, Elua gogo, Kere si mesi, Elua gogo, Olubala deo, Elua gogo, Onje deo, Elua gogo. The Christmas is here! How are you guys doing? It's so good to see you all today. Go call your family, friends, neighbors, everybody because Foodies and Spice is about to start and today I have more Christmas recipes to add to all the ones that we have been doing since. Now I'm going to be showing you grilled fish today. It's very easy using very simple ingredients that you have in your kitchen. I also have a soup recipe to show to you. I also have a noodle recipe to show to you and if there is time I will show you a very simple drink recipe that you can make as well. So first of all, we'll start with cleaning the fish. Clean the fish thoroughly, remove all the guts, the head, the might not need the head but if you want to keep the head it's fine. So you just clean it. Okay, so fish cleaned and this is very very easy, like very very easy. So the next thing you will do is to score your fish, that's put this line in the fish so that the marinade will go in very very well. So I open it all to clean the guts very well. So this is good. I'll just set aside and quickly I'll blend the uh, marinade. I will, I'm going to blend everything together and just pour on it. It's a very easy fish recipe and very nice. Let's do this. So first I'm going to add um, half bulb of a medium sized onion. Then pepper to taste. I think this too is okay. So I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of Nigerian curry and I have um, garlic powder here, same quarter teaspoon, and I have ginger, um, a little less than a quarter. And of course, seasoning cubes, a dash of oil to put the marinade together, dried rosemary leaves. Just about two pinches. All right, so I'm going to blend all of this together. Okay, that's good. So I'm just going to smear this on my fish. So before I start smearing the fish with the marinade, I'll just um, put the fish on a foil paper and sprinkle the fish with a little salt. Just a little salt. Don't forget that we have the seasoning in the marinade already. Just smear this on it. So I'll turn the other side of the fish. So this is good. I'm just quickly going to fold it and place it in my oven. Now, as simple as this is, it's very, very yum. Believe me. I've tried it a couple of times in my house. Okay, so I'll just place this in the oven to cook for about 40 minutes. Fish, 30 minutes, 35 is actually um, ready, but that depends on your heat. So for now, let's just leave it at 40 to 45 minutes, 250 heat. Okay, so my fish is in there now. Right now, we're going to start with my sesame seed soup. Of course, I have sesame seeds also known as bene seed the white one it actually comes in um, two popular colors white and black so but i'm using the the white ones i have snails dry cut fish bomo crayfish the dried periwinkles the dry periwinkles are like my star of this dish today so all i've just done is to hydrate it i put it in water to hydrate it till when i get to use it so i'll get to the soup now any other thing i'm using i will let you know and the green for this is pumpkin leaves you can use your favorite vegetable for it let's get to it so i'm going to add some of course onions tomatoes and pepper to taste Alright, so this is good. The next thing I'm going to be blending now is the sesame seed and the crayfish. So blend your sesame seed alongside with your crayfish. You'll be using palm oil for this. About 
half cup. And so this one I put safe. It's too much. One cooking spoon. Reason sesame seed itself has oil, just like a goosey. Yes, so that's where they get the whole sesame seed oil from and all of that. So it has its own oil. So this oil here is just for the shine. Okay? So, but if you don't even want to use oil at all, it can still work because sesame seed has its own oil. So I'm going to get my tomatoes, pepper and onions now. You are not bleaching the oil. You just allow it to heat up a bit. Season your oil. I like to do that. My grandmother does that, my mom does that, so that's where I learned it from. A lot of you ask me on social media, why do you put salt in your oil? It's just to season the oil. And I think it actually makes the food taste better. Okay, so for traditional dishes, I also like to add iru. So I'm going to add some iru, that's low-cost beans. So my pepper, onions, and tomatoes goes in next. Okay, so I'll stir on it and allow it cook. So I already have my washed snails here and I'll be adding my snails just to make it really fast. So the snails will go in now. Clean the snails. Something else I'll be adding is my cleaned pomo or kanda. So I'm going to cover it, allow it cook for some time, then come back, add the fish and the sesame seed with the crayfish. It's very, very easy and fast. Okay, so I'll stay on the soup. I'm going to be adding my dried fish now. This looks good. So my sesame seed blended with the crayfish will go in now. It's quite easy and fast. Everything can actually just go in at once. So just like your egusi, there are different styles of cooking. The sesame seed soup. Add some water, about three cups of water I will do. The sesame seed has a way of rising. So if you need more water, you can always add to the consistency that you want. So I'm going to cover it up, allow it cook before I season it. The periwinkle will go last. All right guys, so it's time for me to show you how to make this stirred fried pepper. And I'll be using red, yellow, and green sweet peppers. I'll be using onions, spring onions, and of course, I have shredded beef and chicken breast, which I'm going to shred now. Slice it into julienne shape. Just before I cut the green one, I'll quickly check on the soup. I'll be adding some salt, seasoning cubes. You could add a little more water so that it can go round. And for the vegetable, I'll be using pumpkin leaves. It has been cleaned. So I'll add my pumpkin leaves now. A handful is okay. If you want more, it's fine. Before adding the periwinkles, so I'll just quickly stay on this first. And my hydrated periwinkles will go in next. Now, if it's wasn't like if it's a fresh one you can just put it like two minutes till that soup is ready but because this is dried I've tried to hydrate it a bit this soup is almost ready in three to five minutes this should, this should be ready I'll just stay again cover it and allow it cook all right we'll allow this cook now and it yum Okay, so I'm going to start by seasoning this um, meat with a little salt, ginger, 
powder, garlic powder, little bit of that Nigerian curry, and a dash of soy sauce. And I'm just going to walk it into the meat. Work it into the meat, work it into the meat, then set it aside. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the chicken. A little bit of salt, ginger, garlic, Nigerian curry without the soy sauce. Okay, so our fish is ready. I'll allow it rest in that oven. It took about 45 minutes. So this is properly seasoned now. I'll set it aside as well. So I have my frying pan on now. I'm going to add my oil. Just a little enough to coat the pan. I'm going to just make sure it goes around the pan. Let it heat up a bit, then I'll begin to place my meat. My beef is cooking now, so I'll allow it to cook on the side that is down, then I'll turn the other side to cook. Give it like maybe three, three minutes on each side or four, four minutes on each side, it's okay. But we are looking for that golden brown. So I'll stir on it, allow it to cook evenly. So I'm going to remove it now. And begin to cook the chicken breast too. A little more oil. And I'll begin to add my chicken breast. All right, so I'll turn the other side of the chicken to cook. You can stir on it so they all cook evenly. So I'm still going to stir fry them with the um, peppers, so this is just okay. Golden brown is beautiful, this is fine. The next will be my peppers. So a little more of the oil. This time more than the one you used to cook the chicken and the beef. You know how garlic works so well with oil. So I'll throw in my garlic to season that oil. Some salt too, to season the oil. And next will be some of my onions, using red onions today. You can throw in a sprig of rosemary for the aroma. And of course, rosemary is very healthy. So stay on it. Wow. As in the aroma just hits me. It's beautiful. Very lovely. That onion is translucent. In goes my peppers in no particular order. Now this is very pretty. So I'm just going to stay on it. So as soon as it has sweated a little, I can add seasoning cubes. Nigerian curry, that's the normal powder curry you find in Nigeria. And the chicken and the beef. You can throw in your spring onions now. They're all colorful. And you're just going to serve this with your noodles, serve it with your rice, your pasta, anything. It can be your side. So this is looking all beautiful, very lovely. Now we are going to serve it on our noodles. So I'll be using three noodles. So I'm going to stir on this to loosen it. Then I will add the taste maker. I'm going to stay on that to incorporate it completely. All right, see how beautiful the color is. So this is so beautiful. All right, so we're going to serve now and um, our fish is ready.
the side of peppers ready. The noodle is ready as well. And what else? I could show you a very simple drink recipe you can add to your Christmas table. So I'll be making a fruit infused drink with tangerine. orange, strawberry, and some blueberries. I'll use a mugler to bring out the juice, but you really don't need to squash them so much, just a little squashing to bring out the flavors. Then I'll add some eyes. Then I'll add an energy drink. Add more of the fruits. Top it up with more ice. Then your strawberries and some blueberries. And strawberry syrup. Now this is so pretty for your Christmas table. Now, food done done, let's go serve. This is so hydrating after cooking all this plenty food today. And our beautiful sesame seed soup that you can eat with your choice swallow. So I'm going to test everything one after the other. I'll start with the noodles. Mm. Yum. So colorful. Very beautiful. Very, very, very yum. Oh. My peppers. Yum. And of course, my fish. This one did so well in the oven. I cooked it for about 40 minutes. It did well. Wow. Mm. That rosemary hits me. Pictures at Gina Foodies and Spice or Foodie Spice on Facebook, okay? This is so lovely. And that sesame seed soup. It's beautiful. It's yum. See you guys next week. Love you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipe.